In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix 0xc and then 605 in Warzone on your Windows computer. So this error code is very frustrating and makes the game completely crash to your desktop. So to fix this issue, the first thing you need to do is just simply give your computer a restart. I'm not sure when the last time you restarted your computer, but restarting your PC could help fix this error. I know it sounds simple, but give it a go, launch Warzone Pacific and see if that resolves the issue with the error code. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. So the methods that I will be showing you in this video are within Windows 10, but it's very similar in Windows 11. So all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. You then need to click on update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button and if Windows does detect any new updates, allow it to install those updates. Once it's finished installing the updates, restart your computer and then launch Warzone Pacific and see if it fixes the issue. If that didn't fix the issue, then the next thing you need to do is ensure you have the latest recommended driver for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You then need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. I will pop all the links in the description below to AMD, Intel and Nvidia where you can get the driver for your graphics card. So once you've installed the latest driver for your graphics card, the next thing you need to do is launch Warzone again and just see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, you now need to make sure that you have enough disk space on your hard drive. So to check this, all you need to do is open up File Explorer and then click on this PC. You now need to check the drive that you have the game installed on. So I have mine installed on my G drive and I have 197 gig free disk space. So that's absolutely fine, there's no problems there, which would be causing the game to crash. But if this is in the red and you are very low on this space, then that is going to cause a lot of problems, not only for Warzone, but you will probably have issues with other things that are on that drive as well. So go ahead and delete some things from the drive that you no longer want to free up some disk space. Once you've done that, and if you had to free up disk space, go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing we need to do is open up the Battle.net app. Once you have the app open, you now need to select Warzone and you then need to click on the settings cog. You now need to click on game settings and you then need to tick additional command line arguments and you now need to put hyphen D3D11 and press done. Now go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixes the error. If it didn't, you now need to close down battle.net. You now need to open up File Explorer and then go to your Documents folder. And you now need to find Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and right click on it and go Rename. You now need to type Backup on the end of this folder and press Enter. Now go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixes the issue. This will now create a new settings file and a new profile folder which means that you will lose all your current settings. However, if there is a setting that you set that's causing the error code to happen, then this is a fast and easy way to resolve that issue. If this doesn't resolve the issue, then you can always delete the new folder that gets created and then rename this one back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So once you've done all that and if you're still having the issue, you now need to open up the Battle.net app again and you now need to select Warzone and then click on the settings cog again and we now need to click on scan and repair and then begin scan. This will then check for any corrupted or missing files and if it does detect an issue it will attempt to resolve the problem. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video click the like button below and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.